Who work harder than me? No athlete work harder than me. Fighters, no athlete works harder than me. You tell me one athlete right now that's been dominating the game for 16 years straight without a loss. Tell me one. <laughs> tell me just one. That ends it all, then I'm gone. 46 have tried, 46 have failed. This is the top 10 toward me with the fights. Number 10. In May 1st, 2010, Floyd faced red hot Sugar Shane Mosley coming off his big win in 2009 against Antonio Margarito. Fans were already hyped up for the fight thanks to Mosley bombing Floyd's interview after his comeback fight against Juan Manuel Marquez. Fans want to see a great fight, me and, me and Money Midweather. Let's get this on. Let's do it. Well, it's like this. It's, 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 hey, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I, wait, wait. All right, that's it. Hold on. Every, Bernard, everybody calm down. In the beginning, Mayweather was still showing some ring rust from his two year hiatus. The first and second rounds were clearly won by Mosley, who for the first time in a long time staggered and hurt Mayweather momentarily. After the second round, Mayweather woke up and dominated Mosley for the next 10 rounds, pulling off the clear cut UD. Number 9, April 8, 2006, Mayweather faced former undisputed welterweight champion Zab Super Judah for the IBF and vacant IBO titles. In the early goings, Judah outworked and outboxed Floyd, but like every other big Judah fight, there's always a complete collapse. Floyd adjusted to Judah's style and took him apart, frustrating Judah so much it led to this. Oh, you're out aim inside him. After the situation was cooled down, Mayweather closed the show with a comfortable unanimous decision victory. With a price though, Mayweather's trainer Roger was suspended and fined for 12 months for starting the altercation. Thank you, good luck sir. Thank you sir. Good luck to you. Number 8, October 3rd, 1998. An 18-0 Floyd Mayweather was ready for his biggest challenge against the 38-1 feature Hall of Famer Gennaro Hernandez. From the bell and on, the younger Floyd Mayweather dominated, showcasing his great speed and defense. The fight ending in the eighth, the technical knockout victory for Floyd, winning his first title at the age of 21. Number seven, the biggest matchup of 2012, Floyd went up against Puerto Rican great Miguel Cotto for the WBA Junior Middleweight Super World title. Cotto made Mayweather earn his $32 million the hard way, landing great shots on and off the ropes. Made Floyd bleed through his nose, something we have never seen in recent times, making the fight almost even through some judges' scores. This just elevated Floyd to another level, taking the championship rounds by storm and finishing the fight in spectacular fashion, stunning Cotto in the final minute of the round, Floyd pulling off the unanimous decision victory. Number 6, Mayweather Castile. April 20th, 2002, displayed Floyd's true intangibles as a champion. Floyd dominated the early rounds with great speed and counter punching. Castile would later rally through in the middle rounds, making it into a rough brawl. Both fighters were penalized one point, hitting on the break for Castile and pushing off with the elbows from Mayweather. Mayweather would later rally and finish the fight strong winning by a controversial wide margin on the scorecards. Floyd would later have an immediate rematch and would win the fight much more convincingly. Number 5, Mayweather Madonna. Madonna established himself early that this will be a rough fight, giving it all, roughing Mayweather against the ropes, headbutting, and even throwing Muay Thai knees to slow down and throw off Mayweather's game. But it wasn't enough. As Maidana started to slow down, Floyd picked up and got stronger as the fight wore on. Displaying great speed, counter punching, and was landing the cleaner shots, Floyd would win by a majority decision. Number 4, Mayweather Corrales. January 20th, 2001, a fight that regarded as the fight for supremacy in the super featherweight division. 
and Mayweather's toughest fight yet. Mayweather came in surprisingly to today's standards, considered the underdog against the unbeaten six foot Diego Corrales. From the starting bell, Mayweather dominated the much slower Corrales after the end of the second round. Floyd Sr. made it clear Floyd around the 7th, 8th, and 9th. He will be ready to go. Look, Floyd! Keep doing what you're doing, Floyd! Keep doing what you're doing! Keep your hand up good! 7th, 8th, ninth round, he's ready to go! Corrales sure was, as he was knocked down for the first time in his career by a perfectly timed Mayweather left hook. It pretty much was the end for Corrales as he was knocked down another four times and later stopped in the 10th. Damn! Fifth knockdown of Corrales' career. Another mark of what a performance it's been. Ray Woods is up on the apron. That's going to be the end of the fight. And Corrales goes over and nearly accosts his dad for having stopped the fight. Number three. Well, this fight needs no introductions. December 8, 2007, Floyd Mayweather faced England's unbeaten junior welterweight linear champion Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Early in the fight, Hatton kept up with Mayweather thanks to quick footwork and cutting off the ring. Even fight going through the sixth round. Also, the turning point as Hatton was penalized for hitting behind the head. The second half of the fight, Hatton's pressure and defense was starting to give in as Mayweather's straight right hands were now starting to affect the exhausted Ricky Hatton. It wasn't too long till the 10th round, Mayweather catches Hatton coming in with a perfect check hook. Floyd will later finish Hatton off for a 10th round TKO victory and retire on top of the sport for two years till re returning in 2009. Oh look again, another Al Heyman sighting. Number two, the build up, the hype, the records. You know this is going to make my top list. May 5th, Cinco de Mayo and one of the biggest fights in recent times. Floyd Mayweather faced the golden boy Oscar De La Hoya. In the start, De La Hoya's 364 day layoff showed as Mayweather easily picked his shots and fought at his own pace. As the middle rounds came close, Oscar warmed up, making the fight closer, evening it on most scorecards after the eighth. Thanks to great use of cutting down the ring and setting his offense with the jab. Most effective punch tonight. Not his left hook, not his right hand, not a body punch. Oscar De La Hoya's left jab is his best punch when he uses it. Again, once again, Oscar being more active, setting up the assault with the jab, putting Mayweather on the defensive. De La Hoya briefly landed a right cross. As Vernon Forrest did to Shane Mosley, that's not working as well. So once again, De La Hoya goes back. Mayweather throws the first punch. He gets over a right, and Oscar takes it back. And just to show you that Oscar heard Freddie Roach, he fights in staccato bursts, he likes it. Along with Shane Mosley, one more big counter shot. Yeah, Oscar Oscar's looking for one definitive rally down the stretch of the round. Uh, and Roach got in a clean punch at the end. Oscar's doing that every round, which is very smart. Close rounds, if you go either way, he flurries at the end of those rounds and is possibly still in those rounds. I think he got an even fight. As the later rounds went on, Mayweather rallied, picking apart De La Hoya that seemed to age every round. Oscar would have one more short rally late in the 11th as he lands a huge right hand that momentarily hurts Floyd. And one last rally in the 12th. Mayweather is a dose of gold reality. This flurry will warm the hearts of Deloia's million.
millions of fans. Odell will you make good on his promise to keep on fighting even after this? And where does Mayweather go from this pinnacle after claiming that he's going to retire? They fight to the finish and please the crowd. But it just was not enough as Floyd was given the close split decision victory that ended yet started a new era in boxing. Many in the crowd, unaware apparently that it was De Loya's title which was at stake, <laughs> ready to celebrate when Michael Buffer said new, thinking that that meant their guy had won. But no, it was De Oya's title in this Mayweather's first trip to 154 pounds. Oscar or Floyd, who won? Hey man, I'm just, if you go by point system, you gonna have to give the odds. If you go by point system. Thank you, Jim. Number one. Mayweather Chavez, a Flomo or an average boxing fan, would tell you, isn't Castile his hardest fight? Not at all. November 10th, 2001, five months and ten days before the Castile fight, Mayweather was in his roughest fight yet, very reminiscent to the Maidana fight recently. Early in the fight, Chavez threw everything but the kitchen sink, averaging 100 punches a round, unlike in the Maidana fight. Not only Chavez was landing shots all on Floyd's guard, he was also getting some clean shots in as well. Also, but this can be discouraging to a fighter once you hit, land those kind of shots and the guy come out to you more so. Hook and hit the elbow of Chavez, uh, the right elbow of Chavez. Before he, the last fight, then improperly and that's how he aggravated the injuries. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim, in the first two rounds, you could The way he's knocked out big money out of his opponent. Hard right hand up top by Chavez. Determined to make Floyd fight a macho thing. He may want to prove to us. Any punches you saw. Jason Chavez in the first round. He's been missing all night with that straight right hand. Extraordinary chin. Whoa! That was a left hook that hurt Mayweather. As the fight grew on, we were seeing one of the greatest offensive rallies in Floyd's career. Eighth round was not only one of the most exciting Floyd rounds, it should definitely been the round of the year. Back and forth, toe-to-toe -to -toe action, something we have never seen in a Mayweather fight. The ninth round was just as great as the eighth round. Complete war. Both fighters finishing the round strong, but still a clear round won by Floyd as he was starting to get through Chavez. Then, unexpectedly, Chavez's corner stopped the fight. Floyd running over to the HBO crew, immediately yelling, I made him punch himself out. He punched himself out. Going into the 10th round, Floyd was winning on the HBO Letterman scorecards by a round, but Chavez was ahead in all official scorecards. Two of the judges had Chavez up by four rounds, the other by two. Floyd needed a knockout or a stoppage to win, and he sure got it, showing what it means to be champion, and that's why this is my number one. Out of 46 fights, what is your favorite Floyd fight? Till next time, later people.
must be Lord Finesse. Hot, 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 hot damn, it's the return of the funky man. I'm hip to the game. Always be the same.